O2 have just announced a reorganisation of their operating model. And at this point, we don't understand what the detail is of that announcement. What we do know is that it will be from the board down, that means the O2 board will change, and that responsibilities will change at the most senior level of the company. We've had a meeting with, the, uh, with O2 already on the day that it was announced, and we've sought assurances around, one, that we will be fully consulted, and that any changes that impact on our members, that we will have uh, negotiate and agree, and secondly, that we, would, we do not accept any compulsory redundancies as a result of this reorganisation. They've said that they will start consulting in early January, and the dates are in the diary to meet with them. So this isn't a, a reorganisation that's going to hang around. The current employees in O2 that are members of the Section 2 and Section 3 final salary scheme will have all of their past benefits protected. Moving forward from the 1st of June, there'll be two options within the a final salary scheme or they can, they can uh, opt to uh, come out of the final salary scheme and go into the de uh, defined contribution scheme it will be the intention of the CWU to consult with the members affected. Therefore, we will be coming out to the sites in the new year to explain the detail of the options that are available. We've also negotiated independent financial advice for all the members and ultimately there will be a ballot. So the detail of that will, will shortly be available and if you have any questions, please ask your, go to your local representative for, for details.